our next guest is a singer. She's a model, she's an author. Her new book is called Pretty Mess. She's also the breakout star of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Please welcome to our show, Erica Jane. It's expensive to be mad. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, so Erica walked out to her song. It's called Expensive. Yes. And I, you know, I love your unapologetic way of being so rich. Thank you. I, I do. Thank you. Because you know, I get very nosy here on the show, and a lot of times my watchers get very upset with me. They think like I'm tacky because I'll ask somebody their age or how much did this cost or whatnot. Sure. But you like to talk like that, and I am your girl. So. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Okay. Let's talk about it. Okay. So it, it has been said that you spend forty thousand dollars a month to keep this all together. That is true. Fabulous. Yeah. It. It. Well. You know, it can it can get there for yeah. sure. What do you, what do you buy? Like, well, I mean, what I have on. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, if you want to look good, it's hair, it's makeup, it's wardrobe. Yes. And then those people that help facilitate that—they're yeah. not cheap. Yeah. You know. And the private planes. Yes. What do about you, them? Do you do you do you mostly public or do you mostly private? Oh well, I was commercial here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so I, I mix. You know, it's really like Tom's plane because it's for business. Yes. So you know. So you. He comes first. You grew up in you grew up in uh, in um, Georgia, Atlanta, yeah. Raised by a single mom. That's right. A real humble beginning. Sure, just a middle class kid from Atlanta. Uh. And then you moved to New York. Yes, in '89, I moved here with like big dreams of you know being How a performer. How old were you about that t that time? 18. 18. I had just graduated high school. Uh huh. And what'd you want to be? I wanted to be a performer. I wanted to sing and dance. I went to a performing arts high school uh -huh. and uh, kind of like what I'm doing today, honestly. And, and so you meet this guy. Yeah. And you fall in love with him. I met, yeah, I met the, um, yeah, I was no, married to your, your first yeah, husband. Yeah, my first husband. Yeah, no, I met the hot DJ at the club and he was irresistible. We got married, St. Patrick's Cathedral uh -huh. here on Fifth Avenue. You know, you got to do it big. And then. Did, um, did he have money? Uh, well, he was middle class. Yeah. Yeah, and we have a beautiful son. How old is your son now? 25, almost 26. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. And then, so then you there divorce him, oh, and I you forego New York, and you move to LA. I did. I took a leap of faith, and I did it. So, where were you when you met? Like, how do you just bump into a millionaire you who's don't. 33 you put years your, older you than you? You don't. You put yourself in those places. <laughs> no, I was. Um, well, I have, <laughs> you got where were you? I was a cocktail waitress in a restaurant in Beverly Hills, and he was my customer for a year, and we developed a friendship before what we Anna ever Nicole went out. What the Smith is going on? No, 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 no. I know that's that's like it's totally cliche. But 19 years later, married 18, you know. So you gave him your number. I gave him my yes. It was Christmas time. We were standing by the fireplace in the restaurant, and I said, "Hey, did you hear I was single?" And he said, "No." And I said, "And I said, well, here's my number." So whatever. The next day, his secretary calls and says, "You know, Mr. Girardi would like to take you to dinner tonight." And I said, "Absolutely not." Uh, have Mr. Girardi call me himself and ask me with proper time. Yeah. What? Yes. And so, and so you've been together ever since. We've been together ever since. We really were never apart after the first date. Yes. Yeah. And so how old are you? I am, how old am I? I'm 46. I'll 46. be 47 in July. We're cancers. Yeah. Yeah. 18th. Uh, 10th. Uh-huh. So no prenup. No. But you're not going to steal from him anyway. Well, how are you going to get it? <laughs> <laughs> do you think that a man like that's going to let you walk out with someone? Uh, I mean, uh, well, no. <laughs> so he didn't do a prenup with you. He no. um, is an attorney by trade? Yes. Is he? Yeah, trial attorney. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. So, so, you know, you're never going to pull it over on them anyway. Right. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, prenup or no prenup. Yes. Do you have children with him? No, I just have my one boy. Does he has ch have children from a previous? He has adult children that are my age. Three adult children that are my age. Actually, I'm the age of the youngest. Was it difficult getting in with the family? No, actually not. It was pretty good. I mean, they've been very kind. 
And you've been together, uh, married for- 18. What, 18 years? We've been married listen, 18 years. Listen. That's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty excellent. That's pretty good. You know, I mean, in the first three years, I'm sure you were called every type of hua, a thought, hua. all kinds of stuff. I love you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I still am, what but, are you talking but, about? But after still... 18 years, clearly, you guys got a good thing going on. We have a great relationship. We have a great friendship. And that's almost like the foundation for every good marriage, yeah, I think. To like friends. each other, have things in common. And here we are 18, 19 years later. Yeah. So who, who's your best friend at the Beverly Hills in the Housewives? You know what? I have good relationships with everyone, actually. You know, they're getting better for sure. I love Kyle. I love Lisa Rinna. Um, Lisa Vanderpump and I have a friendship. Dorit and I are not fighting this year. So, you know, and we're having a good time, really. It doesn't seem like you need this show other than to promote your, you, you know, your performances, because you are an icon in the gay clubs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me tell you something. You put on an Erica Jane song. I love you, Wendy Williams. <laughs> I love you, you Wendy Williams. You can't move on the dance floor when an Erica Jane song comes on, I know. Thank you. Yes. I appreciate that. And so this show is helped to facilitate your singing career. Of course, and there would be no book without The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Yes. You know, and, and I am very thankful for my opportunity on Real Housewives. It's, I wouldn't be here. Some you know, people, so many people, you know, did not know Erica Jane that now do. But some people might say that you're a little old to be pursuing this particular career. I know. Like, like, but I think, you know what I think? I think it's like kitschy and cute and why not? Well, also too, it's something I've done all my life. Yeah. And why stop just because someone else has a problem? You be you. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't, you yeah. know. Listen, if the people like it, they feel good, they like yeah. it. I'm not gonna live my life for anyone else. Dream big, do your own thing. I don't care yeah. what anybody says. Uh -huh. You truly are a rags to riches story. Say, did you hear me talking about Aubrey O'Day? So what's going on with that? Well, she's only three, 33 years old, but there's a, there's a lot going on with <laughs> Donald Trump Jr. Girl, I allegedly. know, but, but wasn't that in the past? Yeah, but. You know. I mean, the divorce is in the present. I know, that's too bad. Yeah. That sucks. All right, well, tell us about your book. I like you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And not for nothing. Because everybody in, in LA looks like they eat a lettuce leaf and wash it down Not with water. Me. You eat. I do eat and I like it. Yes. <laughs> you know what? And here's the thing. This is the great part. I don't know if I can show this on TV, but I want to. So anybody that buys this book, oh. here's my poster. So you don't have to look, and you don't have to look like a lettuce leaf. No. So what's in the book, Rags to Riches? Listen, it's my personal story. It's told behind being an artist, being a child, and hey, what I went through and how I got here. And you know, it's much like everybody else's experience, the human experience. Don't be a stranger. Okay. Erica Jane, everybody. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills airs tonight at nine on Bravo. Her new book is called Pretty Mess. It's available in bookstores now, but everybody in the studio audience is going home with your copy. <laughs>
Uh, well, he was middle class. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a beautiful son. How old is your son now? 25, almost 26. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. And then, so then you divorce there he him is. and I you forego New York and you move to LA. I did. I took a leap of faith and I did it. So where were you when you met, like how do you just bump into a millionaire you who's don't. 33 you put years your, older you than you? You don't, you put yourself in those places. <laughs> no, I was, um, I, you gotta, where were you? I was a cocktail waitress in a restaurant in Beverly Hills and he was my customer for a year and we developed a friendship before what we ever Anna went Nicole out Smith on a date. What the going on? No, 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 I know that's, that's like, it's totally cliche, but 19 years later, married 18, you know. So you gave him your number? I gave him my, yes, it was Christmas time. We oh. were standing by the fireplace in the restaurant and I said, hey, did you hear I was single? And he said, no. And I said, well, and I said, well here's my number. So whatever. The next day, his secretary calls and says, you know, Mr. Girardi would like to take you to dinner tonight. And I said, absolutely not. Uh, have Mr. Girardi call me himself and ask me with proper time. Yeah. What? <laughs> yes. And so, and so you've been together ever since. We've been together ever since. We really were never apart after the first date. Yes. Yeah. And so how old are you? I am, how old am I? I'm 46. I'll 46. be 47 in July, we're cancers. Yeah. Yeah. 18th. Uh, 10th. Uh-huh. So no prenup. No. But you're not gonna steal from him anyway. Well, how are you gonna get it? <laughs> <laughs> do you think that a man like that's gonna let you walk out with something? Uh, I mean, well, no. <laughs> so he didn't do a prenup with you. He no. um, is an attorney by trade? Yes. Is he? Yeah, trial attorney. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. So, so, you know, you're never gonna pull it over on them anyway. Right. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, prenup or no prenup. Yes. Do you have children with him? No, I just have my one boy. Does he has ch have children from a previous? He has adult children that are my age. Oh. Three adult children that are my age. Actually, I'm the age of the youngest. Was it difficult getting in with the family? No, actually not. It was pretty good. I mean, they've been very kind. And you've been together, uh, married for- 18. 18 years? We've been married listen, 18 years. Listen. That's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty excellent. That's pretty good. You know, I mean, in the first three years, I'm sure you were called every type of hua, a thought, and all kinds of stuff. I love you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I still am, what but, are you talking but, about? But after 18 years, clearly, you guys got a good thing going on. We have a great relationship, we have a great friendship, and that's almost like the foundation for every good marriage, yeah, I think, is to like friends. each other, have things in common, and here we are 18, 19 years later. Yeah. So who, who's your best friend at the Beverly Hills in the Housewives? You know what, I have good relationships with everyone, actually, you know, they're getting better for sure. I love Kyle, I love Lisa Rinna, um, Lisa Vanderpump and I have a friendship, Dorit and I are not fighting this year. So, you know, and we're having a good time, really. It doesn't seem like you need this show. Other than to promote your, you, you know, your performances, because you are an icon in the gay clubs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me tell you something. You put on an Erica Jane song. I love you anyway. <laughs> I love you, you anyway. You can't move on the dance floor when an Erica Jane song comes on. I know. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate that. And so this show is help to facilitate your singing career. Of course, and there would be no book without The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Yes. You know, and, and I am very thankful for my opportunity on Real Housewives. It's, I wouldn't be here. Some you know, people, so many people, you know, did not know Erica Jane, but now do. But some people might say that you're a little old to be pursuing this particular career. I know. Like, like, <laughs> but I think, you know what I think? I think it's like kitschy and Well, our next guest is a singer. She's a model, she's an author. Her new book is called Pretty Mess. She's also the breakout star of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Please welcome to our show, Erica Jane. It's expensive to be me. today, everyone. Yeah. Twist and turn, let them see. Twist and turn. Yes, Erica Jane. Yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Have a seat. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, so Erica walked out to her song, it's called Expensive. Yes. 
And I, you know, I love your unapologetic way of being so rich. Thank you. I, I do. Thank you. Cause you know, I get very nosy here on the show and a lot of times my watchers get very upset with me. They think like I'm tacky cause I'll ask somebody their age or how much did this cost or sure. whatnot. But you like to talk like that and I am your girl, so. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Okay. Let's talk about okay. it.